Hey guys, the Terminator 360 here, and today we will be making custom show accurate golden weapons and custom powered up golden weapons to complete your golden weapons collection. There will be timestamps in the description if you want to see a certain weapon. Make sure to like and subscribe. Oh, having all that said, let's go. Starting off with the nunchucks of lightning, first I'm going to show you how to make this purist using only Lego parts, and then I'm going to show you using painting and customizing how you can make a perfect, show accurate, powered up nunchucks of lightning. At the bottom we have the original legacy one with the two dragon hilts and the regular gold chain, and on the top we actually use Zane's epic battle swoosh, swoosh nunchuck piece instead of Jay's. Since Jay's is this yellow greenish color to replicate lightning, but the lightning in the show is blue and Zane's ice is blue, so it ends up working perfectly. Now we can take this custom even further, but this is going in the non purist area with painting and customization. Basically, we take another one of Zane's epic battle swoosh pieces and color the hilt inside the swoosh piece gold. Now, while the hilt just being transparent um, blue to match the thing works, it's not as accurate. It's, a real, it's really simple. All you have to do is get an acrylic paint pen, paint over it really precisely, and there you go. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna do this for every one of the ninja, have the original ZX hold the regular version and have the legacy version hold the powered up version. I think the nunchucks of lightning look good both ways. The Sword of Fire is easily Ninjago's most iconic weapon. The way they did the mold of the original, and it hasn't changed in 10 years of Ninjago, just because it's so perfect and accurate to the show, the way the dragon head is eating up the golden blade, and I think that's where they got the inspiration to make the new legacy golden dragon head blades. Now, for this one, I'm sticking completely purist and not doing a version where you can color it in or do anything like that. Because if we color in the weapon part of the fires of the new Epic Battle Kai's fire piece, it would end up just looking like an average katana and not the sword of fire. So with it all being fiery up like that, it makes it believable Kai's actually using it and it's burning itself up. Again, the original ZX having the original weapon and the Legacy having the powered up weapon. For the Legacy, I already mentioned this in my Ultra Stealth, Ultra Sonic Raider comparison. Go by the way, check that out. I upgraded my Legacy Kai using the Power Rangers arms because we've gotten this minifigure literally 16 times accounting for all magazines and sets. And it's kind of getting boring and repetitive and just a nice upgrade to spice things up a little. Now for Zane's shurikens of ice. The originals, like Kai's Sword of Fire, haven't changed in 10 years just because of how accurate they are. They are molded and perfectly suited for what we see in the show. The go uh, but while they're powered up, they really have this kind of icy texture around them. And I think Zane's epic battle shurikens work really well to replicate this. One, because they're ice shurikens, and that by itself can be as a replacement. But two, because of the way it is molded, with the with the different swoosh pieces showing it like it's being thrown and i think that's a really cool detail because it really is meant to replicate ice shurikens in action and not just on standby and something else you could see is like the shuriken outline which you could color gold but i'm just going to show you how it would look like by placing a regular shuriken on top perfect now we have zane zx holding the regular version and we have Zane Legacy holding the powered up versions. And I think actually these two look the best side by side because the nunchucks, because of how small they are, allow you for a lot of intricate poses with them. And that's always been something fun to do with Zane. Now for the Scythe of Quakes, we're going to talk very briefly about the purest powered up one since making the show accurate one is going to take a bit, a lot of work and it's going to be a process. I basically used Cole's epic battle Scythe piece, but we could have also used other options to quote unquote legacyify it. We could have used Jay's epic battle Scythe piece because it could have fit Cole's ghost aesthetic they've been trying to give him in Legacy with his whole epic battle set being based off of possession. Or we could also give him um, an orange one from Kai's epic battle set so he can replicate his RX power he's been using since tens of time and it's kind of been his main thing to this day. But I still think for Powered Up, the regular Cole one works. Now let's get into the show accurate. So for the show accurate Scythe of Quakes, we use two regular Lego pieces, 
the golden stick and the freeway hilt but to make that actual top scythe piece is going to be a process and all we're really going to need are two things we're going to need a sword of fire and an exacto knife or a scissor whatever works you're gonna cut at about where i put the black lines on the sword of fire i would also just take a look and see where you'd want to cut but that's just my estimate of where you should cut it then you're gonna basically just take it out and put it in one of the holes in the freeway hilt and voila show accurate scythe of quakes So again, here is a shot of the ZX holding the regular one and the Legacy holding the powered up one. And I think they look pretty good. And looking at this shot, I would definitely choose just a regular coal scythe. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to hit my channel below to subscribe. Click the top playlist to see comparison reviews, including my latest one on the Ultrasonic and Ultra Stealth Raider. Click the bottom video to see me review every season 15 minifigure. And click the video on the right, I'm sure you'll enjoy it as well. Signing off for now, see you next time.